It's, it's frustrating for us, and I appreciate for the Regina Police Service that they probably have never encountered this kind of a situation before and they have to find their way. But it's really frustrating for us because we have followed the rules. We were, we were aware we had to get an injunction right off the get-go because it appeared that there was a blockade. We got an interim order. We, we went and got a final court order. Uh, it's there. Uh, they've been ignored. We went back to court with a contempt of court on the, uh, on the original piece, which is pretty solid evidence that it's not being followed. Uh, Unifor was found in contempt and fined, and still we sit here uh, today with this illegal blockade. And, and I say it's frustrating, and it should be a concern for every business in this province and in this country that someone like Unifor determines when the law is to be applied and when it is not. And as a Canadian and living in a civil society, that is really problematic. And I encourage all businesses to think long and hard about the precedent that is being set here. And as a result, we're not going to bow to this. This is just not acceptable uh, in 2020. Well, do you want them to go in and arrest everybody that's on the picket lines and clear it that way? What does that look like, them enforcing this injunction? Because it could mean hundreds of arrests. I am not the police service. I don't know what they need to do. We run a business, we operate a refinery, we're producing product, there's illegal blockades as the courts have already determined and we simply can't turn any wheels.